Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm Yo's Foul, and let's talk about more possibilities for future endgame content. So far, Honkai Star Rail, the team, the developer teams have been pretty good with developing endgame content for us players, right? We got the normal memory of chaos, right? And we got simulated universe. And the simulated universe is expanding with a lot of patches every time. And it is expanding as a whole, right? We got golden gears and we got swarm disaster. And I can almost guarantee you guys that we're going to get even more and more content along the way with that. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. Because it's just inevitable for that to expand further, right? They made even a whole new update where now we have to click on a specific button to get to Swarm Disaster and Golden Gear. So there's going to be more worlds with that as well. And on top of that, they added Pure Fiction. Late game content is looking very good. They just have little bits of things everywhere. Pure Fiction is specialized in the AoE damage dealers, right? And I think my perspective, you know, my thing is that these hunt characters that we're having fell off a little bit, right? In the beginning, Azela was like goddess of DPS. And just with how the game is evolving, the concepts and the formats of this game is very, very, it's very bad towards the hunt path. Uh, as a whole right um i think dr ratio is by far the best hunt character in the game right now for damage dealer wise of course but he still has a lot of ways where sometimes the hunt format is not good if we look at pure fiction you don't want to put the hunt characters there right and moc of course he had that one section where dr ratio was like the best option in the moment but overall destruction and stuff like that is dominating it's just it's what it is right and um, what we can expect, or what I want from the game, not what we can expect, what I want from the game, is they added a pure fiction. They added a end game content for your edition characters, because your edition characters as a whole were also a little bit in the back, right? They actually got a whole game mode for end game content for them. So what I would want, what I would like for whoever to do, is to make a whole section for hunt characters, where we need one big boss or something along the way with that, which we have nothing else but this one target, and then Hunt characters would then um, prevail in that area. That would mean that we would get another third late game cycle um, end game content, right? We have now with MOC, we have like the two week thing, and then with the Pure Fiction, they go like overlap each other, where we have exactly two week, two week um, of these things. It would be maybe a little bit hard for them to implement that in there, but A. Hey, um, enough creativity for that right that's their job and to do and make that a balanced structure uh, for the game one thing i do think about instantaneously is certain hunt characters yet again zayla would need resurgence procs to then even be good in that domain um so that is a bit awkward just for zayla's character design as a whole i think because zayla's character design wants to kill something and then proc resurgence and then she can really go ham right if you would have these domains where these hunt characters would have one boss, elite boss, so they could actually go ham there. Zayla would kind of still be like one of the lower tier characters just because she can't proc resurgence. So that would mean that we would need little, again, little spawns to maybe proc resurgence, but then we're only looking to please the Zayla mains, and that is not really what I want. I just want the hunt path as a whole to prevail in a mode like that for a new endgame content. I would just want every hunt character along the way as well to prevail there because there's going to be a boot hill, of course, his new hunt character for him to be as a whole a worth unit to pull for. He would need something in his kit that would make him a good hunt character in MOC or in other game modes, right? So I think uh, as a whole, the hunt characters would love a mode where just, they're just specialized in, right? That's just for every hunt character, every hunt lover. Um, good, because then we actually would need these hunt characters. Because the, the free Dr. Ratio right now, I know that everyone is all Dr. Ratio, Dr. Ratio. I have uh, Danny Boy, I remember to Lunane, right? Dill, I have Dill for my imaginary coverage. If you have done hang, I don't see any need to build Dr. Ratio right now. That's my personal opinion. It's just not happening. Uh, even 
if you have the free duct ratio that gives deal less value for imaginary damage coverage right because you have the free duct ratio but it's not a concept of duct ratio will always make deal a worse unit to the end of time soon i don't even know if it's already right now but duct ratio is not claimable soon anymore so newer free to play players are not even going to have a free Dr. Ratio, right? He's going to have a rerun banner, and pe people that actually really like Dr. Ratio would have to spend Jades on his banner then. So I do think Dill will always have the upper hand damage-wise and coverage-wise because he's just a better unit overall. Maybe, yes, Dr. Ratio has more single-target capabilities, but yet again, if we don't have a functional end-game content thing for that, Dill will always be better Danny Boy will always have a better option as a whole for imaginary damage, right? And then, and then as a unit as, as a whole, Dale is just such a high impactful unit the more investment you put in them, right? Because of the three skill points you use. It's just how his character works. He, to the end of time, Dunhang will just skyrocket with every new upcoming support and whatever that could help him, right? He will always be very good. Um, so coming back to the Hunt Path late game, I would not know how we would call it. Or what, what the concept of is. It's just that it would be hunt specific. There could be multiple waves of one character, right? Maybe that it would be... You start off with a small creature. And then you have a certain amount of waves you would have to kill. But it's always one at a time. Stuff like that. Right? They could do something very cool with that. Let me know in the comments down below what your idea of that would be. How we could make a cool, functioning, challenging... Um, end game content for hunt characters because of course you have four party members in your team so would that mean hunt would still be bad in it because jing liu dunhang ekaron would still deal more damage than the hunt characters but i do want the hunt characters to shine in these scenarios yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys would you know have a cute little concept for that but i would just think about something like a big boss or they could go even further than that. Um, they could make whole new el elements or uh, not elements, uh, characters for that, right? Enemies for that. Um, if they would make a concept like the only the enemy, they would make a new enemy. And with that new enemy, it's hunt specific for that end game content. So only in that certain hunt end game uh, scenario or game mode, we would see these type of enemies. That'd be very cool, right? Um, stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like you can do a lot of things for these hunt characters. Or what they would do is for the end game content as a whole, we would need more friendlier hunt specific character formats. And I think the last few... They did that yeah, a few months ago, a few weeks ago. They had a pretty relatively overall hunt friendly run. But I just think just because Pure Fiction is there, I think the hunt characters deserve... A own section of endgame and that means more content for us to clear right um if we have another late game content to tackle down to like to actually busy with to character build to farm relics for then we have more engaging content to uh, clear and i think as a whole for the end game scene of hankai staro that is really positive and they can only do good than harm so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this concept. Uh, I just thought about that this morning. I woke up and I was like, yeah, pure fiction, cool and all, late game. Wait, we could just get another hunt path specific late game, right? If they made Eurydition friendly pure fiction for that, right? I feel like uh, maybe they already have something in the work. Of course, like I just thought about this as a concept, but maybe they're already like for a few months they're working on this. We don't know, of course. Uh, they will let us know in future updates, in future live streams. They will probably show maybe new possibilities with that. But yeah, show some love for the hunt character guys. Hunt characters need love as well. I would love to see them shine in multiple ways. And but not only hunt characters, right? Like I think characters like Luca that have like the single target burst break capabilities would also prevail in these modes. So I think a whole bunch of forgotten quote-unquote forgotten uh characters would like get times to shine shine again and i think characters that don't have time to shine is bad char character development or game development um i think everyone should have some sort of criteria where they shine in and i think all these characters are usable in the end but i would love a game mode just for hunt characters or where they shine but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i would love to hear you guys takes make sure to like and subscribe and yes Follow me for more. Make sure to join the Discord as well. I'm trying to grow this community. And as always, have a wonderful day, my beautiful Dowdies. Take care.
Peace.